In Africa, the range of football cultures is as diverse as the continent itself. From the pyro-filled fan scenes of North African stadiums, witchcraft and tribal rhythms of the Central African leagues, to world-class arenas and historic clubs in South Africa, the derbies and rivalries that exist across the continent are the pinnacle of passion in a region of the world that lives through football. These are Africa's biggest derbies. The Casablanca derby, Morocco. The Casablanca derby between Raja and Vidad is as mad as it gets and is Moroccan football's biggest fixture. The two teams may share the Stad Mohamed Sank, but they stand for very different things. Widad were founded in 1937 as a sports club for wealthy Moroccans with the help of King Hassan, while Raja were created after the Second World War, partially as an outlet for Casablanca's young working class. Despite their rivals having a head start on them, Raja have caught up on the pitch and cemented their status as one of the best supported teams in the continent. Even on regular match days, their Ultras Green Boys and Ultras Eagles put on some of the most visually stunning choreography displays anywhere in the world and on Derby Day is cranked up to another level. Widad's Ultras winners aren't exactly shrinking violets either though and meetings between the two sides, green and red, are truly explosive affairs. Following a fight between Raja supporters last season, Ultras materials have been banned from the Moroccan terraces, but this has done little to stop thousands from attending matches and singing in full voice. The Algier Derby, Algeria. The coastal capital of Algier provides the backdrop for the country's oldest derby between USM Algier and MC Algier. Despite both clubs being rooted in patriotism and the fight against French colonizing forces, this derby can get massively heated. Both clubs' colours commemorate the struggles of the past and pride in their identity. MC Algier play in the green of Islam, while USMA wear black and red, representing mourning for those killed in anti-colonisation protests and the blood of the martyrs. The two clubs' grounds have modest capacities of under 20,000, so derbies are played out at the July 5, 1962 stadium and watched by crowds of 60,000. The streets of Babeluid, an area with a lot of USMA supporters and Casper, likewise for MCA, are packed with supporters singing and showing love for their teams days in advance of the game itself. And in a city where football is inextricably linked with politics, identity and religion, it's not surprising that clashes between its two teams are among the most exciting from a terrorist perspective. The elaborate TIFO displays are on a par with anything you'd find on a Champions League night on the Yellow Wall or on Derby Day at the San Siro. The Kigali Derby, Rwanda. APR versus Ryan Sports in the Kigali Derby is a meeting of two of Rwanda's most successful clubs. Although Ryan Sports are actually based 100 kilometers away in the country's southern province, they, like APR, play their games at the Stade Regional Nyamirambo in Kigali. Even though APR were only founded in 1993, they've already got over 20 Rwandan league and cup titles to their name, while Ryan Sports have over 15. Drums, flags and a vast array of club colours are common sights on Derby Day where the stadium is packed even a few hours before kickoff. Fans of Ryan Sports, the best supported team in the country, have been known to flood the roads leading from their hometown Nyanza to the capital on match days. The Derby often leads to a boost for the local economy with victories for either side seeing fans stay out all night celebrating after the match. Following the genocide which took place between April and July of 1994, Rwandan football has taken on new significance. The League Cup is known as the Peace Cup and football matches between these rival clubs have become a form of reconciliation where members of different tribes find themselves supporting the same club. The Tunis Derby, Tunisia. The rivalry between Club Africain and Espérance, two teams from Tunis, the sprawling capital of Tunisia, is based on a classic formula, class distinctions. Espérance were traditionally considered the team of the working classes, with Club Africain seen as the team of the wealthy. These stereotypes no longer really hold true though, thanks to the constantly changing nature of the city and its demographics, especially after Tunisia gained independence. The two clubs are neck and neck in terms of overall results in the derby, which has been played over a hundred times. Derby matches are played at the Stade Olympique de Rade and see huge colourful choreography and TIFO displays as supporters try to prove that their fans, as well as their team, are the best in Tunisia. Both Espérance's Curva Sud and Club Africain's Curva Nord are highly respected. In the African Champions League, they have a reputation for travelling the length and breadth of the continent, bringing incredible numbers as far as Durban in South Africa. From a TIFO perspective, these two groups are the masters of Africa, often including pop culture references that bring global attention to their derby. The Canal Derby, Egypt. The two top dogs in the Suez Canal region of Egypt, 
Al Masri SC and Ismaili SC come up against each other in a canal derby. The derby is largely good natured. Although flashpoints can spark up, both clubs tend to reserve most of their hatred for Cairo Giants, Al Ali, and Zamalek. Ultras groups in Egypt have been banned from football following the Port Said massacre in 2012, where 74 fans died and hundreds were injured following clashes between Al Masri and Al Ali fans. Despite this, they still attend games in other sports, the African Champions League and training sessions ahead of derbies where you can witness these spectacular scenes. We can only hope to see this level of passion for the Egyptian national team at Russia 2018. Dar es Salaam Derby, Tanzania. The Dar es Salaam Derby in Tanzania is truly extraordinary. The largest city in East Africa is home to Simba SC and Young Africans, or Yanga and matches between the two are a real sight to behold. The fixture made international headlines in March 2017 when two opposing fans made a bet that whoever's team won the derby could spend the night with the loser's wife. They even signed a contract to make it legally binding, but in the end finished up settling the deal financially. The Simba General Secretary confirmed that his wife isn't allowed to wear any yellow or green, the colours of Yanga, and that his house is decorated from top to bottom in red and white. Crowds for this often controversy-laden fixture average 60,000 fans, making it the best attended derby in Central Africa. Abidjan Derby, Ivory Coast. The Ivorian capital of Abidjan plays host to the country's biggest rivalry between ASEC Mimosas and Africa Sport Abidjan, two of the country's most successful clubs. ASEC Mimosas Youth Academy is credited as playing a huge part in the emergence of Ivory Coast's golden generation and brought through a host of players who went on to play in Europe like the Torre brothers, Jovino, Emmanuel Bue, Didier Zakora and more. ASEC also hold the world record for the longest unbeaten run of all time, going an incredible 108 league and cup matches without defeat between 1989 and 1994. Historically, the derby has been keenly anticipated from weeks in advance of the fixture but a combination of factors has seen the match take a lower profile in recent years. Some put it down to the popularity of the Premier League in the country and the fact that some derbies have had to be played hundreds of kilometres away in Buake, while stadiums in Abidjan have undergone maintenance work. But with Canal Plus now on board as an official league partner and interest in Ivorian football on the rise due to the country's conveyor belt of talent, the stage is set for this historic rivalry to be stoked once more. Cairo Derby, Egypt. The Cairo derby between Al Ali and Zamalek is widely considered to be one of the fiercest derbies in Africa and world football. This fixture is simply on another level. Al Ali are historically associated with the struggle against British colonialism, while Zamalek are seen as the king's club. By extension, this has meant that the connotations around the game are those of identity and class. Zamalek, who play in white, are cast as a team supported by intellectuals and the affluent while the red of Al Ali has come to represent the working classes and nationalism. One thing's for sure, this match is one of the most volatile and intense in the whole continent. The match is played at a neutral venue and has had to be played behind closed doors in recent memory due to fan trouble. The fixture is so divisive, with everyone in Egypt either directly supporting one team or as a second club, that it's often refereed by a foreigner to avoid allegations of favouritism. Even though fans of both clubs stood side by side and played a key part in the 2011 revolution, hostilities have well and truly been resumed since then. The Ghana Derby, Ghana. The Ghana Derby between Hearts of Oak and Asante Kotoko is the biggest in the country. Asante Kotoko are based in the Ashanti region in the south and are Ghana's most successful club. Hearts of Oak are based in the country's other great metropolis and capital, Accra. According to their fans, the oak tree in their name and crest symbolises longevity and that the club would never be relegated, while their colourful kit represents the range and scale of their support. The fixture is instantly evocative of a desperate tragedy that took place in 2001. During a meeting between the two, 126 people died when police fired tear gas into the crowd following crowd trouble at the match. The incident reshaped the whole fixture and the derby has since become a purely sporting one between Ghana's two best supported and most successful clubs. There is more of an element of friendliness to the match now and violence is now a rare sight. Instead, fans try to influence the game by seeing priests and pastors or even through magic. Soweto Derby, South Africa two staple names and powerhouses of African football, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs, contest the Soweto Derby in Johannesburg, South Africa. Since their first meeting in 1970, Kaiser Chiefs, the team that the British band of the same name named themselves after, have had the better of the fixture, but in terms of overall honours, the two clubs have had similar levels of success. 
90,000 sellouts at old World Cup 2010 stadiums are the norm when the two meet, which means a lot of Vuvuzelas being blown. When you consider that both sides averaged attendance of around 15,000 last season, it's obvious that this matchup is a massive deal. This is truly the biggest fixture in the only country in the continent to host a World Cup. The facilities and quality on the pitch can be comparable to many European leagues, but the rhythm in the stands is something totally unique. Those were Copa 90's top 10 wildest African derbies. Want to let us know any we've missed out or what makes your derby special? Leave a comment below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Copper 90.